Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to help you with H5P on Moodle. So first thing I'm going to do is turn editing on over here so I can get started doing that now. Next, I'm going to go down to add an activity or resource so I can add H5P. Now notice H5P has two areas. One is content and one is to set it up. So add an activity or resource as the teacher or manager of a course. Go into activities because both are activities. Notice one is blue and one is black. One is uh, to set it up and the other one is the interactive content. Going to click on the interact content to get started here. Next, I'm going to see what's available. So there are lots of uh, activities. Amazing. You can also search for them if you go into the search engine. Notice uh, there's upload and create content. So let's click on interactive video, create videos enriched with interactions. So here we go. Notice what's here. Uh, there's also content demo where you can try this out. Um, and there's update. And what's really, really important is use. Let's click on update. That's for the um, plugin. It's updating just in case we need to do that. If you're able to do it, if not, the manager of the site or the admin can do it for you. So as the admin, I'm just making sure that everything is updated so I can start using interactive videos. Notice while that's happening, I can read a little bit more. I can also go into this, these videos to get an idea of what interactive videos look like. So there's an image of one and there's an image of another. Notice you can add questions depending on the level and what you're after. Okay, this is what it will look like. Okay, once I use it. Okay, so it's still updating. Notice there's also a license here so that you can know exactly where it's from, MIT. That update may take time, so I suggest you don't use it. Next, go to use, because that's what we want to do. We want to use this so we can create our interactive videos. Click on the use, which means I want to use it. All right, so notice what's here. Interactive video. There's also tutorial, lots of learning if you're interested in an example. It's loading, please wait. Display options. You can also have it graded. Okay, grade. Add categories by setting your grade book. Please do that. Otherwise, it's just going to be categorized. Doesn't look that good. And don't forget, while we're waiting, activity completion, if you wish. All right. So still loading here. And um, there, now we're getting a tour here. Let's ignore this by exiting the tour guide. All right, so now we're ready. You give it a title, metadata, if you wish. You want to read more about that. There's also the tour here that you might want to go through, if that interests you, over here. Notice all these options. And there's add a video. So you need to add a video of your own, as well as, let's open this, um, unsupported for YouTube. So we're going to get a YouTube video. Let's click on a video and we'll add the link of the video. And now we're going to paste the link to our video. Okay, so there we go. Next, uh, we're going to click on insert. We're not ready yet. You can also upload a video file if you have something like that on your computer. I don't recommend it. It's going to drain the system. It's better to use YouTube videos on Moodle. Okay, so now we're going to get started. Okay, next is add interactions. Click on that. And here we go. This is how we do it. So these are all the options. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so um, to add an interaction, drag an element. It really explains how to do things. So the elements obviously are at the top. These are the elements. And you're going to do it. 
love to see your video. Please share what you did, your complete video with the interactions in the comment box below so we can enjoy it as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.